Welcome to today's 3D print. Today we are going to talk about Spherecons. These things are pretty neat. Stay tuned. So if you want some more technical details on what a Spherecon is, I'll have a link down below to Angus and Devinson's video on these Spherecons. But basically, you take a shape, you revolve it, and then you take the half shape and you rotate it whatever the degrees are. So if it's a four-sided shape, 90 degrees, if it's a six-sided shape, whatever the equivalent, I think it's 60 degrees. Um, so your degrees depend on the number of sides. You know, like a triangle would be 120 degrees or something like that. Um, uh, whatever, you, you get the idea. You, ro you rotate half of it. Their videos will have a lot more details on this. But the result is you have a shape that has a continuous rolling surface that changes axis. So kind of like a Mobius strip. So it's one continuous surface as far as a, a rolling surface is concerned, but that surface shifts. And the result is you get this really interesting pattern when it rolls. It's pretty darn slick. I just think that's fun. So this is printed on the GTEC A10. It's a uh, budget printer copy of the Ender 3 Not quite as good as the Ender 3, but not bad. I like it. I'm enjoying it It's gonna be a printer. I keep in operation and use a lot and This is the new Amazon basics translucent green filament. I'm very pleased with that. It's a beautiful color and it printed very well This particular shape because it prints in two halves These corners especially have a lot of strain. They want to pull up so use a brim when you print with this. But I couldn't stop there. No, 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 no. Next up, took eight times longer, but I went to 200%. So now I have a 200% scale version of this. Same exact model, again by Matt Devinson. I think it's Matt Devinson. Um, I'm not sure on the name. I'll confirm that down below, but it's Make Anything. I believe his name is Devinson. Devinson. But he made this the Geode Spherecon. It's quite nice. His models are available for free download. If you enjoy his models, support him. There's an option on, I believe it's my manufacturing, to you can contribute to him if you want. But again, very cool model that rolls across the table as it switches from one rolling surface to another rolling surface smoothly and cleanly, which creates a really interesting effect. I like that. But I couldn't stop there. No, 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 no. <laughs> Eight times longer again. 400% scale. <laughs> there's the 100% and there's 400%. And this was also printed on the um, GTEC A10 in two prints, of course. Each one took mm, 20 hours, so 40 hours of printing. And um, I think this was um, two and a half hours, something like that. Or, or no, this is like an this is like an hour. Yeah, I think it's took like an hour to print, hour and ten minutes to print. And this took over forty hours to print because uh, twenty hours for each half, nineteen hours or forty-two minutes for each half. There's a slight deviation from the rule of double size eight times because infill changes and perimeters change and stuff like that. But that's pretty cool. That is pretty darn cool. This one I used a brim, so the pieces are nice and flat, although I noticed the scaling is off a little bit, so check that. Make, rotate them 45 degrees, make sure their X and Y dimensions are the same for both halves, um, besides just scaling them up. But otherwise, went together fine. I got rid of the box in the middle, and I just glued them together. And um, it's also interesting as it spins like a top. <laughs> that was kind of neat, but this will also your little roll across the table. I just think that is just really neat to watch something like that go. That is pretty darn neat. I am now going to, I wanted to supersize this even more. I want to print this in two pieces on the S5. That's, um, um, in theory, I can get this thing like 600 mil, almost 600 millimeters across. Because if I print it 
square, the diagonal, this dimension here, will be the diagonal. So, um, square root of whatever the square of A and B are. So, 500 times 500 plus 500 times 500 and square root of the result of that. <laughs> Pythagorean's theorem. Whatever it is, I don't know, I'll just take a tape measure to it. <laughs> but it'll be big. It'll be very, very, very big. And it will take... Uh, what was it, 70 hours perhaps, or 140 hours or something like that, or 160 hours to print, and it will take a full kilogram of filament per half. And that's going really light on the infill. I'm just having trouble figuring out how to take care of this, because even with a 1.2 millimeter nozzle width, I have problems where the one layer separates from the next layer when you get up to here because it's so flat, and I have to be careful not to add too much infill or I'll go over one kilogram and then I'll have to do a roll swap in order to print. And it's already going to be expensive enough to do a two kilogram geospherocon. So I haven't printed it yet because I can't get the filament. I want to print it, I want to do an amethyst geode. And that means I want my 3D racks purple haze and it's currently unavailable. Urgh. So I want to do this. <laughs> in this color, which I think would be stunning. So as soon as this is available again, I'm going to buy two rolls of this, and I'm going to print this as large as I possibly can in two pieces, you know, without having to break it down even further. And I'm going to print it in this. And then, of course, I'm going to, same thing I want to do to this one here, I want to paint the outside of it. They have a stone finish paint you can get that would look really nice on this. This was printed with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle at 0.2 layer height, 215 degrees Celsius on the GTEC A10. And this one will probably be printed at 225, 230 on the S5. And I will probably try to go with a 1.2 millimeter nozzle just to reduce how much infill I need because the vast majority of this won't need any infill at all. But I probably will have to reduce the layer height and increase the infill in order to close this top properly. We'll see. But um, if I can keep it under one kilogram per half, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have an absolutely massive one of these. It's gonna be almost twice the size of this. Not quite twice, uh, maybe, maybe about twice the size. So it'll be like eight or 900%. So it would be twice the size. That would be pretty darn cool. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out Make Anythings youtube channel he's an excellent channel to subscribe to and he makes cool stuff like this available to people links will be down below you guys have a great day